हेलो हाँ नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द प्रोसेस व्हाट हैव डन टू मैशी टू क्रिएट ए ब्लूप्रिंट ऑफ थर्ड पर्सन इन अनरियल आई एम गोइंग टू डू इट इन माय ओन पीसी आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू यूज एनी थर्ड ऑनलाइन सर्वर्स फॉर क्रिएटिंग ए मैश एंड टेक्सचर राइट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डू इट ऑन माई ओन पी This is a process called Comfy UI process. It is it's a stable diffusion process. So you need a Comfy UI for this, and you need to have a knowledge of that how to use it. Uh, I'll provide provide a link for that how to use it and all. So I used a Hanyan 2.0 process for this. So it gives a uh, better process uh, model than texture. Uh, this is whole process. This whole process is done in my PC. It's a the thirty eighty RTX. So you need to have a good graphic card in your PC to do this process. Uh, for this is a Comfy UI uh, overview. Uh, you can check out some videos. I'll give a link in the description how to use it and how to install it. So this is the character what I am going to use. I am going to create it in three uh, D. So uh, like what you have seen in Unreal. So first of all, you need a character uh, which has a texture or T pose, A pose, any character. You don't need to have a uh, default pose of any other thing. So you need to uh, drag and drop the image over here, just like what we did in Comfy. Uh, sorry, Meshi AI. So this is the process uh, in uh, my own PC, not in any server, not any paid subscription or anything. Credit or anything. It take lot of time. I have skipped some part. I have fast forwarded it. So it's doing the texturing part. So we can preview the model. Uh, so this is the model what we get. It's a triangulated, but a uh, lot of detail is has been added in the same process. Yeah, this is just like what we get in uh, paid subscription of Meshi. So uh, yeah, this is generating the texture. Hello, uh, this is the look of the texture. What we get? Yeah, it's uh, quite okay to create a character. Uh, we can refine it if you have any skills in ZBrush or anything else. But this is the okay process. What we can process. So this is the Comfy UI uh, folder. We get the output in the mesh folder. Uh, so this is the 3D view. Yeah, it's quite good. Uh, so this was the comfy way. Uh, you can have a. Uh, Process how to install and run it. So now I'm using the GLB file. What it created? It created GLB format. So I import it in uh, Blender. S so this is what it looks in Blender. Uh, I'll check the texturing of it. Yeah, it's pretty GPU intensive. Yeah, this is the texture. What we can see in Blender. It's all triangulated. First, uh, we have to convert it as a quad, or we can use the triangulated mesh also. We'll export it as a OBJ. Because the GLB format don't work in Maya. First, we'll uh, remesh the triangulated mesh. So I'm using ZBrush for that. So now uh, you need to import the triangulated mesh and duplicate it, and then remesh it without uh, making it symmetry. So 
so this is the rematched model so in meshi ai it gives a rematched model uh, the quad model default but in this process we can we can't get the default quad model so we have to use the zbrush or any other retopo software automated or you can do it manually also so this is the mesh what i get i'll project the uh, retopo mesh with the triangulated one then i'll export it as a obj format again yeah so i'll import it in maya so now we have to take uh, transfer the texture file from the triangulated mesh to the quad mesh so this is a little bit lengthy process but we have to do it if we want to get without a paid subscription or anything we have to do it on our pc so we have to do this process So here we have a triangulated mesh and a quad mesh. The triangulated mesh have the texture, but the quad doesn't have it. Uh, and the quad mesh we have to unwrap it also. I skipped that part, but you need to have a little bit automated unwrap or anything with the quad mesh to transfer the texture. So we are using uh, Maya to transfer the texture. So we are using transfer map in Maya. So we select the source and the destination mesh. Then we select the diffuse mesh. So if you don't have any knowledge with this, you have to check out online for this. There are many tutorials which show how to transfer it. You can use Substance also, you can use ZBrush also, you can use Mari also. I know every process for this, for this but I am using Maya for this process so this is the texture what we have transferred to the quad mesh the both look similar little bit of uh, color differentiation are there but it has been transferred to the new UVs so we are going to export it as an FBX So now we are going to import the uh, skeleton mesh of the shark what we have done the process in meshi uh, now we have to replace the shark mesh and add the hulk body we have to scale it as per the height requirement uh, then we have to do the joint placement also I'll hide the shark mesh right now I'll save the file once. So I'll make it a little bit faster. This is the same process what I've done in the Shark Mesh AI project. You need to adjust some bones with the body what we have, the default body what we have from the mesh. same we don't have any finger detail so we are skipping the finger detail so here is the bone setup what I have done uh, I'll adjust the IK joints for that deselect the finger uh, joints then I transfer the skin weight at the skin weight there is some problem with the head I'll do some adjustment with the head with manually yeah that's working so now uh, I'll export the uh, joint and the mesh 
the same process what we have done in the shark if it is uh, capable for you and you are not understanding in this video you can go to the shark video uh, machine AI video so now we are in unreal uh, we need to uh, open the third percent level so this is was the shark project what we have used so we'll duplicate the blueprint and rename it so next we have to uh, import the new mesh so and create a folder for that and import the file and assign the skeleton mesh as the many the old many I'll save it, select the static mesh and go inside the blueprint so we have to replace the skeleton mesh of the hulk to the blueprint the blueprint so we have done it uh, the animation and everything is coming because the skeleton mesh very important as the many is the same skeleton mesh what blueprint use so now i am replacing the playable character with other blueprint hulk blueprint yes so here we can see the process works properly so if you have any character you can do with the same process if you have familiar with the comfy UI installation and everything but it is a little bit tricky to get the texturing thing works with the graphic card GPU there are a lot of problems what I have faced but you can find the solution in online but this is what I set up for my PC not to depend on any other AI softwares uh, paid softwares online it's quite good uh, I can change the animation if I want but this is okay right now for me